What is going on to you tourists out there? Hope y'all are having a great day. Smash that like button. Um, so there's a link in the comment section below called the Linktree link. Click on it. All right. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel. So I can most definitely keep the channel going. Everything from bird chart readings to road readings, the books that I have that are on Amazon, teaching you how to, to do the tarot yourself. So I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you. Um, so for you, Taurus, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. Right now, these are the first three cards out of ten. Um, so let me go ahead and, and just take a step back and see exactly what's going on. Because Okay. Okay. All right, that's interesting. So a lot of you Taurus are very skeptical around this time and you're very precautious, almost paranoid about finding the right one. And you know, what happens if you were to end up like talking to somebody and they end up not really uh, taking you seriously because they're dysfunctional or, or maybe you're not that good. So the Ace of Cups is a reminder that you have to learn to love yourself, okay? You're you're being too hard on yourself, basically. You're you're basic you're just being too hard on yourself. You're in a position right now where, like it is that I've talked about, you Taurus are very uh, attractive around this time. So you have to understand that the most attractive people are actually some of the most insecure people, really, because you know. They're so, because a, a lot of the times, very attractive people are usually insecure for one of two reasons, right? Or a combination of both. They're insecure because they're terrible people, right? And they're, they're doing that as kind of like a little test to see who's really there for them. Or if they're just there because they have some, they want some sort of fun, or they want some sort of social currency. Because a lot of the times the pickup artists have the, the, the mentality that like, when you hang around someone who's handsome or pretty, when people see you with them, it raises your social status. Now, me personally, this is part of when I was learning the game, why it is that, you know, the more I learned about the game is the more that I was just like, this is the, like, I, I get what it is that people are trying to say, but, and it works, but this type of mentality and thinking really is really for the delusional at the end of the day, because I thought it was total horse, total horse stuff, right? And um, it's true in certain regards, but then it's untrue in others, but... <laughs> They're either insecure because they're worried about who's trying to get something from them or they're insecure because people are a lot of the times trying to disrespect them and treat them like trash and and be downright brutal to them. The, some of the most beautiful or handsome people in the world are often the most taken, taken advantage of. And you would think that it's the other way around when in actuality, everyone gets it hard. Ugly people or quote unquote unattractive people has it hard in one way, but then for the most part, people stay away from them and they don't really try to take advantage of them in that regard because so many people spend so much time wanting to stay away from them because nobody wants to be caught standing next to X, Y, and Z. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the same type of scenario that a lot of you Taurus are going through right now. Y'all are very attractive, but a lot of y'all are in a position where it's like, oh, you hope people like you, right? And the Eight of Swords now represents addition by subtraction. You have to learn to let go of that because, excuse me, not the, ten, not the Eight of Swords, excuse me, Ten of Swords. You have to learn to still let go of that mentality because... You Taurus really still haven't caught on to the idea yet of what's the worst that could possibly happen. In real life, what is the worst that could truly possibly happen? 
you know, people decide that they don't want to hang out with you anymore. Good. And the reason why it's a good thing is because they can keep their goofy behinds away from you, right? <laughs> and then the thing is, is that the, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, you've been thinking about how metaphorically speaking, of course, you've gotten backstabbed to the point where you're just tired of going through the same rigmarole. You're just tired of it. You don't want to, you don't want to constantly be going through the same thing where you think that you have a friend or you have some sort of companion and no matter what capacity it is, whether it's friendship, platonic friendship, whether it's family members, whether it's rom romance, they always find a way to betray you, right? But the Eight of Pentacles represents, but you, you Taurus, this is a mind trip that a lot of y'all are going down. You have to understand that you're in a position where you are very well off because not only are you physically attractive, but nah, right, with the whole physical attraction thing, right, that comes and goes. But on top of that, a lot of you, you have a good, you have, a, a lot of you Taurus have a great personality on top of that. The point, the problem that a lot of you have is y'all are preoccupied with whether or not people like you. And a lot of the times people will, will like I said, will try to take advantage of very physically attractive people. They will want to round them for, they will want to hang around you for social credit, right? They will be envious of your uh, beauty and your your physique. <laughs> so what what will they do? They will be upset because a lot of the, a lot of the things in the world works in reverse. People go on out of their way to talk trash about you and ridicule you and and treat you the worst, especially if they don't have any kind of real cause. 10 chances out of 10 is because they legitimately have got something tied. No matter how low you think it is, it, it could be, believe me when I tell y'all, listen, you ain't got to believe me. Know what I'm telling you is the truth. It could be, it could be the dumbest stuff in the world. Things that you shouldn't even be getting jealous over or envious over. Trust me. I've been in that same position that you Taurus have been in where I don't get what it is that people could even be jealous or envious of. I don't even understand it myself back in the day, right? I'm talking about me at that time. And then, and then, right? And then a Virgo broke it down. It's not, it's not just, it's not just about, you know, you getting a new pair of sneakers. That's not what it is. Yeah, that's part of it, but that's not, you just getting a new pair of sneakers. That's not what it is. Yeah, it's part of it. But the main part of it, though, the bigger body of, or I should say, the, the bigger body politic of it is the fact that you doing your thing. You see what I'm saying? You, you doing your thing. And so what if you're not the most handsome or the most physically attractive person in the world. You still end up being that based upon the the way that you interact with others. You get people. You know how to communicate. You know how to dress, right? When you Taurus know how to do that, right? Now, <laughs> now it takes you all a while, you know what I'm saying? You know, because I ain't even gonna lie. Me being a Virgo myself, the earth signs can dress in, in some pretty peculiar things. I'm not even going to lie. The earth signs can very much so dress in, in some very peculiar things. But when the earth signs learn how to dress from air sign, you know, air signs and 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 uh, fire signs and stuff like this, and even water signs, and, and they go ahead and they make it their own, then the, then the earth signs can pull some combinations off. But the point that I'm trying to make here with that is the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles represents you're being paranoid. This is something that you have to watch out for because if you don't, Taurus, the way that you, the way that you are interacting, you're gonna 
the way that you will interact if you don't watch this, you, Taurus, will come off to other people like you're actually the problem. You're the one that's actually the issue here because you want them to like you. But the thing about it is, is that regardless of whether or not they like you is irrelevant because at the end of the day, people who really have worked out certain issues within themselves are the only people that's going to be able to, to kick it with you. You understand? The only people who are going to be able to hang out with you without getting a certain kind of way is people who have worked out emotionally some of their own baggage within themselves. If they have not done that, you will be surprised at the type of goofy nonsense that, that some people will come up with to have an excuse to not rock with you. So... The Three of Pentacles represents, if you don't care for this, if you don't let this ideology that people do not like you upon meeting you, if you don't let that go, you're going to give less and expect more. And you shouldn't expect. It's just, you know, as far as, you shouldn't expect as far as start to get deluded with it. Yes, you should expect a certain level of decency, if especially if they're going to be hanging around you. Those are things that th that you should expect. Those are things that a person should automatically know, especially if they've been hanging out with you for a couple of times. You know, why would you be around them if those are not your, your tribe, right? If those are not your people, right? If you don't belong there, if there's no sense of belonging there. So now the Seven of uh, Swords and the Sun card represents... If they act like this with you, you know what it is that you do? You just leave them alone. But other than that, right, you, you stay clear of them, you leave them alone. You move on with the rest of your life, whether it's on your job, whether it is uh, just, you know, uh, you know, some of the people that you've known for a little while, whether it is brand new people that you are getting to know, right? You know, a lot of times starting up conversations can be difficult for some people. Not me. I don't really care. I'll talk to almost anybody, you know, but at the same time, too, this also represents how. But again, pay attention to how you're moving because you you will rob yourself of a very good experience if you, Taurus, are not careful of this. You got to be careful of that. OK. The sun, you have to learn to let it go and be and and be and be willing to adapt whatever this whatever the situation is. You know, if if the two of if they if they turn you down, if they don't, you know, if they don't answer the phone, whatever it is that you're trying to call them, trying to hang out, then it is what it is. It really is their loss. You know, you know, real talk. You know, you know when people are really. I can't say the H word, but you know, people are really like, really trying to go hard and style and profile on you and stuff like this. When you know that they, they, they doing too much, you know what I mean? You invite them out to a place, they flaking, you know, you just talking to them, they flaking you, this, that you, you, you're not even coming off hostile, you know, and yet here they are when they, when they interact with you, it's it's always hostile. It's always over aggression. And it's like, why are you being so overly aggressive? And it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and then they and then they make up they make something up. Oh, it's because you getting on like you stupid. You this that. You know how many people who, who made up crap about me talking this nonsense about how I'm talking bad about somebody behind their back. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, come on, yo. Like, I'll talk bad about you to your face. Don't, don't do me like that. Come on now. Be honest with this thing. Don't go around lying as if I'm talking bad about you behind your back. I'll talk bad about you to your face. <laughs> come on now. Don't get on like that now. You know, or it, it was it, or it was something else. Oh, you know, some of the people that I may have tried to date. Oh, you know, you're a player. And it's like, it's like, yo, 
you stay here with these stupid narratives. You, you, you want this narrative so bad, you stay here with this narrative, okay? When you don't have anybody, and you, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when they don't have anybody and they sitting at home mad because they don't have anybody, but they had an opportunity to talk to you. And what did they do when they had the opportunity to squander it? Then they'll understand how much of a cocotazo they are. <laughs> the Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Ten of Wands is about how, because for you, the best thing for you to do Honestly speaking, it's for you, Taurus, to just move on. If they are not interested, don't even spend so much time even being upset about it, truth be told. The Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, socialize, get to know some people. If they're interested in trying to talk to you, then allow them to try to, then 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 let them talk to you, you know? But spend time with the people that legitimately are putting in an effort to spend time with you. You know, don't... You know, don't force it. Don't over exhaust yourself or exhaust yourself trying to, you know, trying to give or trying to make the idea clear that you're interested in, in, in talking to somebody and that you're truly trying to get to know them. Because sometimes putting in too much of an effort could be just as detrimental as not putting in, in enough. The reason why is because if a person is trying to get you to try too hard. Like I said before, like for me, uh, Taurus, I don't chase. I don't ever chase. You know what I mean? For me, I'm, I'm a strong proponent of that. I'm a strong advocate of that because I did chase before. See, all of these things I'm saying, a lot of that stuff, I already did it before. I, I never cheated, but I had uh, some of my homeboys who, you know, who were like dogs basically who was ripping and running around smashing as much as they could and they would get themselves into a lot of messed up situations and they would always tell me not to cheat you feel what i'm saying now prior to i was already having relationship problems not only that but i wasn't planning on cheating anyway but hearing that from and they were and they were like one or two years or like a couple of years older than me regardless so hearing that from these individuals, right, that just was confirmation to me. So this is what I mean when I say that a lot of that stuff, I, I already learned from either just soaking up game or lived it, you know. So you can get to a point where you will exhaust yourself. You can get to a point where, you know, when the person isn't putting in any kind of work, you'll just call, call, text message the person and the person ain't getting back to you. You you have to you have to make a, a decision. How much do you want to how much effort and or energy do you want to give? You know what I mean? You have to you have to make that conscious active choice, interactive choice. How much effort do you want to put in? Me, I don't ever chase. I'm going to show you an effort by, I don't have a problem contacting you at first. I want the people who I'm talking to to contact me first too sometimes and have it be a fair thing where, where it's you contact me, I contact you. You know, not this ide not this ideology that who you waiting on? You waiting, who you waiting on? You waiting on one side of the fence to do all the chasing yeah that's a dub for me and you know you know i I, don't, I really don't have anything to prove so i'm gonna just go ahead and say i you know i don't chase i've had like model real talk model types that try to get me to chase and i was like nah nah <laughs> you know so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. My thing is I want transparency and, and honesty and trust and character. This craziness that people are doing and then trying to be reaction seeking and then trying to make it seem like that's cool. Like, oh, yeah, you, you mad, ain't you? It's like I'm mad because you've been acting like you're. I'm mad because you've been acting like you're an idiot. 
Like, oh, because you just can't live without me. It's like, oh my gosh. You know? And especially if you Taurus are individuals that, you know, have been around the block a couple of times, have some accomplishments. You know that life goes on. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. You know that life goes on. You know that. You know that with, with they're delusional. You know, the hanged man, high priestess, tower, of course, the nine of swords, and the uh, seven of pentacles, of course. The hanged man and the high priestess. High priestess is Taurus and Virgo. Showed up in your own reading. Then you had the tower, of course. Wouldn't be a, a tarot, uh, Taurus tarot reading without the tower. Scorpio popping up somewhere around here. But to clarify the Ten of Cups, the hangman and the high priestess represents just keep an eye open. All right. Keep an eye open. Be patient. You know, continue to work on that baggage that you have, that people don't like you and all of this other type of nonsense or whatnot. And just work on that. You know, don't assume people like you. Don't assume that people don't like you. Just live your life. Hang out with people that show you consistency, that you can actually trust them, that is. And then you have the hanged man and the nine of swords. Bump anybody that tries to make it seem like, you know, you're, you're, you're a burden on them. Leave their life if, if they want to talk about it like that. And when you do, they're going to be hard pressed to, to because they're going to feel like a jerk trying to come back to you. And then you have the seven of swords and the seven of swords represents... Because all that them trying to do, talk about you, all of that stuff is really projection at the end of the day anyway. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.